Bournemouth is one of the reasons why Chelsea didn't qualify for top four last season. I'm not saying the reason. I'm saying one of the reasons. We dropped point. It was a boring draw away in a game that we dominated. We created chances. We couldn't score. We did the Chelsea thing. So this time, we have to go there and get three points. My name is Oggs, your own brother. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment down below. Take one second to help your channel and it will be much appreciated. This video is about my head-to-head -head analysis between Bournemouth and Chelsea. Expect another video about my preview where I will be giving you more details and my lineup and my score prediction and everything. This video is only to show you how we've been doing and what can we do to beat them. Let me remind you the table, Manchester City, Liverpool, Brighton, Arsenal, Newcastle United, Bradford, Aston Villa, Bournemouth, Nottingham Forest, Tottenham Hotspurs, Chelsea are 11th. Yeah, 11th FC one more time. So Bournemouth are 8th, Chelsea are 11th. Three games into the season. And I'm not going to lose it right now. But you have to start collecting some point. When you start dropping two point here, two point there, and you said it's not a sprint, it's still a marathon. And then you look back and you are like, oh my gosh. Because we didn't take the marathon seriously, this is the reason why we missed out the last minute. Fulham, West Ham United, Manchester United, Leicester City, Crystal Palace, Ipswich, Wolves, Southampton, and Everton are the last on the table. If you're a coach, what are you telling your team before the big game? I would tell my team, if you lose, I, won't, I don't want to see your face again, ever again. That's pretty harsh. Let's get to the nitty gritty of this topic. Head to head between Chelsea and Bournemouth in the last recent meetings. And we're going to start by the bottom one. February 2020. Chelsea 2, Bournemouth 2. It was away. December 2022. Chelsea 2, Bournemouth 0. Stamford Bridge. Saturday, May 2023, Chelsea 3, Bournemouth 1. We went over there and beat them at their own stadium, Vitality Stadium. And then we drew. That was September 2023. This is the, 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 the draw that I was talking about. We dropped point last season. 0-0 zero, zero boring. And... We missed out on like, I don't know, four points to make it to top four. So this two point really cost us a lot. September 2023. The second leg at Stamford Bridge, we took our revenge. I think it was the last game for Thiago Silva, if I'm not mistaken. The last uh, game of the season. And we, we, we scored two goals. They scored one. And I still remember that amazing, amazing goal from Moises Caicedo. Conor Gallagher pressing. Bam. Moises Caicedo. What a goal. What a goal that was. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Let's see the form guide for each team. In the last five games, Chelsea Football Club, they, they lost once against Manchester City. They drew one game against Crystal Palace and they won three games against Wolves 
against Bournemouth, of course, last season, and against Brighton 2-1 last season. Now, for Bournemouth, they lost two games in the last five, and they drew two games, and they only won one game against Everton. Wow. So you see that on paper, Chelsea are better than them if we have to compare statistics in the last uh, five games. But it means nothing. After the international break, anything can happen. We don't know who's going to be there, who is injured and who is not. So it's still 50-50 in my humble opinion. Season so far, Chelsea 11th, Bournemouth are 8th. Yeah. The almighty blues. Let's check on some statistics from players. Top players stat. Noni Madueke, three goals for Chelsea Football Club. Nicholas Jackson, two goals. And for them, Antoine Semenyo, two goals. When, I, when it comes to assist, Cole Palmer with four. Nicholas Jackson with one. Justin Kluvert with one. When it comes to tacos, we have Scott, Alex Scott with nine tacos, not nine, 12. Moises Caicedo comes second with nine and Lois Cook, nine. Would you rather go big or go home? Go big! I'd rather go home and play video games. Well, you're not gonna win any championships. It's not complicated. Mm -hmm. Bigger is better. Let me remind you, the last game we played against them, it was a Stamford Bridge, Sunday, May the 19th, 2024. The last game of the season. And every single game in the Premier League played the same time. Remember that. Moises Caicedo scored 17th minute. Raheem Sterling scored in the 48th minute. And for them... Bournemouth, of course, it was an on goal. Benoit Badiashile scored for them. He wanted to help them out and he scored against his own team, Chelsea Football Club. Man of the match that day was Mr. Cole Palmer. Amazing, Mr. Amazing. He had one assist, four key passes, pass completion of 80%. 0.6% successful dribbles too. After him, it was Mo Moises Caicedo. Petrovic also had some very good assists, so he came third in the voting system here. And Conor Gallagher came fifth. So it was all Chelsea. You have an idea, you know what to do, Chelsea, just win. <laughs> all we want is a win with everything going on off the pitch, with the owners and or that we just want to feel good. And like I said, I'm going to make a video about my predictions and my lineup and all the good stuff, more details. So stay tuned for that. But I think Chelsea are going to get the job done. 2-1 Chelsea. All the details in the other video. Stay tuned.